subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon for new video notifications hey guys how are you doing today so welcome to automation studio uh, i am praveen and i am welcome to you in our another session so in the last video we have seen like how to open the pre installed app under a simulator or on ios devices now in this session we are going to uh, automate uh, maps over on IO simulator and uh, we will try to perform some actions like I will I will type something from search results I will pick one of the result and then uh, uh, then I just remove that result and that's it. just a simple navigation so that um, and also I, I'm gonna show you like how you can inspect the element and in order to do that with the help of a beam inspe inspector you have to uh, use the bundle id so where you have to make the changes instead of apps you should have to define bundle id so it will load your existing app for inspecting it so that is the one point you have to take care here is my uh, iphone x or 10 11 dot 2 is running and uh, here is my, my eclipse so let me show my apm server my apm server is also running so what i will do what is my scenario is um, i'm gonna uh, launch maps app it will open like this then what will be my second step i'm i'm gonna click on this particular text field just I'm going to click on this so that it will expand and then once it will expand I'm going to type here rich and then I'm going to click on this rich port city United States then I will wait for some time time to load so for that I'm just waiting for 30 seconds and after that I am clicking on this close button and then I am putting the app that's it I am closing the app so that is pre pretty much like how to deal with the automation using maps so further option we can explore also but it's just a starting of uh, you can how you can automate the pre-installed app on any phone or any iOS device or simulator okay so now we are gonna see by automation code so let me show you the automation code as well so here is the method what I have written so in the last video I have just shown you how to uh, launch the app through the help of bundle ID so I have here uh, the bundle ID is com.apple.maps so remember in the last video we have seen this this url where from where we have captured the uh, bundle id so from here i am taking the bundle id com.apple.maps and i am providing here so this is all about the launching up to here and then the rest scenario is, is started click on the text field so everywhere i have used the name you have to inspect app in the um, APM inspector so how I have done that if you go here click on this button or rather than you should have to watch my earlier video where I have shown you how to inspect native elements and then like this you need to create the capabilities so how to create the capabilities I have shown in my earlier video probably I will put the <coughs> link in the description box so you can you guys can have a look on that just what you need to do so here just come here and uh, whatever the capabilities you have in that capability you instead of app you have to use the bundle id and bundle id is nothing but your this one that's it so now instead of 
app you have to use the bundle id and you have to say start session then it will start your session and then further you can you know inspect your uh, ios elements on native app okay so let's try to run it mm, run as now let's see how it will work Yep, so now it should click on text field first. Yep, now it will type bridge. Now it will click on bridge port city United States. Yes, it clicked. Now here it will wait for 30 seconds because because sometime it will take load uh, to load that particular map whatever we are able to see in the background in the app now it will click on the cross icon it should click here after 30 seconds so 30 seconds is not done yet yeah and now it's closed the app so this is a small demo of how we can or maps in iphone uh, in for the further videos, we can refer this particular app native app also for the APM further sessions or we can deal with another um, set of application where we can deal with different mobile elements. So like that you can also practice guys. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Okay, so this is the channel guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe it. If you have liked this video, so please like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. I will see you in next video guys. Bye bye. Take care.